Hey everyone, Will Yard Sales Survivalist here with my flea market finds for August 25th and 26th, 2012. Uh, last weekend of August, uh, the uh, flea market season is uh, quickly coming to an end. Up here on the porch with the chickens, it was raining this morning. Uh, they like uh, getting out of rain, so uh, they're up, up here with me. Uh, actually had a pretty good uh, weekend. Uh, even though it was cut short with the uh, rain this morning, did pretty good yesterday. Uh, lots of unusual things, uh, some things I've never seen before. Like I always say, that's one of the uh, fun things about uh, going to yard sales, flea markets. You never know what you're going to find. So uh, let's take a look. I haven't seen you boys around in a while, huh? I know. First up, got some uh, brand new in the box Timberland uh, boots. Uh, guy wanted 25 a piece for them. I got them for 20. These are the uh, Pro Series with the steel toe. These retail for around 120 a piece. Um, I think I can get about $80 a piece for them. So, uh, pretty good deal there. I uh, got a Lucian Picard watch, uh, five bucks. Nice uh, German clock. It's marked West Germany there, and the movement is marked kind of different. It's marked Germany, so I'm not quite sure what that means. But uh, it doesn't run, and I paid ten dollars for this. Uh, probably, probably overpaid. Yeah. Did I pay too much? You think? I think he pays. Thinks I paid too much. Got some ammo. It's a part box, but the 308 and the 30 out six is full. They were five bucks a piece. Old cast iron bookend. Too bad I only have the one. Uh, some Mark Galleon on the back. Uh, two bucks on that. Uh, got a bunch of uh, costume jewelry. Um, I like the idea of selling jewelry. You know, it's uh, simple to pack. Um, sometimes you can get it relatively cheap, and some of these things sometimes are worth good money. This is mostly Sarah Coventry. Got some nice looking pieces. I don't expect anything to be really high dollar. But uh, that was, uh, let's see, $20 for the entire lot. It's a nice uh, little brass bracelet here. Hand wrought, New Mexico, solid brass. Um, just some neat looking pieces. Got a thing for a bow. Uh, not sure what you would call it, but still got the original price sticker of $80. The guy was asking $12, I got it for $10. Uh, should definitely make some money on there. Who knows, $30. Uh, from the same guy, I got uh, a uh, bow stabilizer um, for $5. I uh, should get about uh, 10 or 15 for that. Uh, scopes have been very good for me. Um, if you've been keeping up with my sales, I've sold uh, $350 in scopes in the past week and a half. So uh, I'm definitely on the lookout for scopes. The guy had 15 on this one, 15 on this one, and uh, 5 on this one, and I got the entire lot for 30. Uh, this is the best of the bunch. Nikon Pro Staff, uh, nice shotgun scope. Uh, that's a $130 scope new. I should be able to get about uh, a little 90 for that. It's in really good shape. It's a nice uh, Simmons. Uh, just a average scope. Probably get about 30 for that. 
And uh, this one I haven't looked up. It's uh, for an air gun, so that might help it. Gamo uh, air rifle. Uh, air rifle scopes have to be a little different than a modern scope because uh, air rifles have recoil going front and back. Um, so they have to be actually a little more stable uh, than a regular scope. I uh, really like this one. Uh, Sunshine Hydrox Biscuit 10. Um, too bad it's missing part of the label here. Paid 10 for it, but uh, you know, how many of these? I've never seen anything like this. Uh, how many of these uh, survived? Uh, this has got to be from uh, 1930s, maybe earlier, but uh, just a really neat large tin. Can you imagine going to the grocery store and buying your groceries like this? But uh, like I said, too bad it's missing some of the label, but uh, since I haven't seen it before, I think it's a good deal. A couple uh, old paint books. Uh, these both are copyrighted 1944. Um, I like to think that, you know, who knows, maybe a parent bought these for their uh, child uh, back around 44 or 45, and they've stayed together all this time. Pretty neat, Blondie, Bugs Bunny, Porky Pig. Uh, not sure of the value, kind of a little beat, a little dinged up, but uh, a lot like the Biscuit 10, uh, how many of these survived? Um, it wasn't something that uh, people really saved uh, most of the time they were used. Um, so, have to look into that. Uh, definitely worth the uh, $3 piece I paid for them. This is pretty neat. It's a lap desk, portable, I guess you call it a lap desk, writing desk. Uh, inkwells went in here, the pens went in there. Um, the, it's worn out down the center here. Got some uh, uh, storage in there and below here. Uh, pretty neat. It's got a patent date of 1875. Somebody's wrote in there a date of January 14th of 87. Um, I paid 20 for this and they're not really bringing a whole lot of money. I think I might be able to get about $50 for it. Pretty neat that somebody spilled a little ink in here. Um, so it was definitely used. Neat uh, DeWalt cordless uh, sawzall uh, it's uh, it's used pretty good but uh, comes in handy got it for myself you know one of the places I use this a lot digging a hole or something and you come across a uh, big root instead of hacking away at it with a shovel just get this out and have it gone in no time uh, had 20 on it, got it for 18. For my son Nathan's room, got a old, uh, this is a old home interior, Burwood, um, dated 1973. Pretty neat. Got all the uh, Central Pacific, Santa Fe, Erie, Pennsylvania Railroad. Uh, Look good hanging on his wall. He still likes uh, trains. Uh, and the sun's coming out. Maybe it's going to be a nice day after all. Uh, picked up some artwork. This is a uh, charcoal and signed S. Mitchum. Pretty neat. Pretty well done. Uh, paid ten dollars for it. I don't know. I have trouble passing up uh, original artwork. Uh, do a search on the artist and we'll see how uh, that goes. Got a really nice uh, bench vice here. Uh, made, in, made in America, which is uh, always a good selling point. You don't want that Chinese junk. Uh, needs some good cleaning up. 
pay 10 for it, but uh, definitely going to make some money on that. Uh, bought an old telephone. Not exactly sure how it works. It just really looks neat. The old uh, rotary type. Um, got the uh, phone here. Um, I guess this is what rung. Mount that on the wall. Uh, 25 on it, and uh, I think uh, I think it might bring around 100. Uh, I gotta do a little search. This is one of my cooler uh, finds. Uh, when I first saw it, I thought uh, it was to a you know you see a tripod, you think uh, it's to a uh, surveying uh, transit or something, but. Uh, on the back here let's see I signal the house next door but uh, uh, the sun's going back in but uh, that's what it is it's a it's marked can't really see it Hilo Mark 5, and this is a signaling mirror. Uh, did a search on Worth Point. I've been using Worth Point a lot lately. Um, and best of all, the uh, price lookups have been free for the uh, for like the past week, two weeks. Um, so, paid $30 for this. Guy was asking $40. Uh, Here's a better, I don't know if I can see the markings on it there. Uh, not sure if it's World War I. Uh, here's a date, 1941. So World War II, uh, sig signaling mirror. They say uh, on a good day you can see this for uh, 50 miles. Um, pretty good. Um, Got it for 30 and found a couple on Worth Point that sold right around $350. So I'm going to put it in my store, uh, $400 or best offer, and uh, we'll see what it brings. In the meantime, I might, if the sun comes out, I might uh, flash my neighbors a little bit. Uh, check this out. Have you ever seen a typewriter? with this big a roller on it before. I never have. Made by L.C. Smith. This one must have been a very specialized uh, typewriter uh, to take such large sheets of paper like that. Um, I have no idea uh, what this was used for. Uh, those of you that know guns know L.C. Smith. Um, famous for their shotguns. Um, they started making typewriters uh, in back around, I think it was 1880s, 1890s or so, they switched over and just started making uh, typewriters. And uh, later on they merged with uh, Corona and became Smith Corona. But uh, I know a lot of people, they, they buy these old uh, typewriters uh, just for the keys. You know, they... Uh, the demand out there for the keys, they turn them into jewelry and such, but uh, I'm not going to do it to this one. Uh, it's just it's just too neat. i uh, got more research to do on this. Uh, it's definitely old. Uh, definitely in very rough shape. Uh, paid ten dollars for it. Um, but uh, I couldn't leave it there. Uh, when you see something unusual uh, you should buy it just to uh, for the education. And my last piece of the day, um, it's probably not the most valuable piece, but uh, it's the most um, different, unique. So anybody knows what this is, uh, let me know. Uh, you know, when I first saw it, I'm thinking. 
uh, some kind of funeral uh, stand for flowers or something. There is a uh, outlet that you plug into down in here. And, uh, why they have a plug and not a socket, I don't know. Um, looks like it holds flowers, I would guess, or maybe it's a uh, uh, for a vase went in here. I really don't know, but it's 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 really neat. I just uh, I love it. Um, really old, probably 1910, 1920, probably no more than that. Uh, but uh, if I got any ideas, let me know. Oh, and uh, got a little piece of artwork. I picked this up. Guy, guy made these and was selling them. Uh, pretty neat. Got a uh, guy took a monkey wrench and turned it into a butterfly. So uh, 30 bucks on that. But uh, kind of neat. Everybody needs some art in their life. So there we go. A little bit of everything uh, this week. Uh, even with the rain. Uh, would have been a really good weekend if it wasn't for that, but uh, can't complain. Got a lot of nice stuff and uh, running behind getting my stuff on uh, eBay. Uh, try to get a couple days and uh, just do a, uh, a listing marathon and try to get some of this up into my store. Uh, go by name Terminal 99. And we started out with the chickens and we'll end with chickens. All right, boy. Yeah. So, you want to say hello? So, until next time, this is Will the Yard Sales Survivalist, and uh, we'll talk again next week.